What's up? Welcome to the beautiful city of Florence. My name is Andrew. Welcome back. Today we're gonna go find the best places to eat in Florence. Let's get it. this place called Eduardo for a quick gelato. This was my my wife's favorite spot to go for a gelato uh, when she was studying abroad here in Florence for about three to four months. So let's give it a shot, it looks amazing. So I got the strawberry or fragola and the lemon, limone, which I had previously in Rome. So it looks incredible. Let's dig in, cheers. Mm. Oh, lemon is really good. Nice and sweet and tart flavor going on here. Really good. Mmm. Oh yeah, that strawberry. Oh, so creamy, so rich and flavorful. I love it. All right, so I'm getting to the cone part, which is the most interesting because they make theirs homemade. It looks pretty incredible. It smelled so, how do I describe it? Smell like chestnuts, pralines, and all of the above. Like very rich and savory in there. It, it smelled incredible, seriously. I can't describe it fully, but just look at it. Damn. It might look pretty basic, but it actually like smelled really, really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's good. If you are ever around this area, which you probably will be if you come to Florence, right outside the Duomo, right around the corner. Check it out, Eduardo's. All right, now we are at the famous Al Antico Vinayo, which is basically known as one of the most popular street foods here in Florence. It's basically like a flatbread sandwich. It looks pretty delicious. Um, I just saw a bunch of people holding it before. Let's go try it ourselves, shall we? All right. So we got the Paradiso, which basically has what looks like a ham. We added some fresh tomatoes in there. You have to ask for it. There's stracatella cheese, which is the inside of a burrata. And I think this is pistachio cream, right? Yeah, pistachio cream, which is so unique. It looks like a pesto, but it definitely isn't. It smells so nutty and flavorful. Oh my God. It just looks and smells incredible. Oh, can't wait. Let's dig in. Yeah. Woo. Sheesh. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. This is freaking scrumptious. My God. The cheese is just absolutely phenomenal. The bread is nice and toasty. You know, I heard about this bread being very hard and thick, almost inedible for some people, but damn, this bread is nice. I love it. It's like the perfect marriage of ciabatta. I think it's ciabatta, I'm not sure. Or focaccia. I'm not too sure, but damn, this is delicious. The bread is so amazing. The, the cream, the pistachio cream is so flavorful, so savory, nutty. There's a lot, like a drizzle of olive oil in there. And oh my God, the tomatoes. I cannot get enough of these tomatoes here in Italy. My God, delicious is an understatement. <laughs> mm, amazing flavor. The perfect street food here in Florence. If you're ever here, you cannot go without getting one of these babies right here. My God. We heard that the most famous one, the popular one, is the favolosa. We weren't really um, too fond of what goes in there. There was prosciutto, there was eggplant, there was a bunch of creams and whatnot, but 
we wanted something that was more fresh and more kind of catered to us and we realized as soon as he was making it in the front for another customer, it looked damn good. So <laughs> we decided to just get that one and it was this. Paradiso. This is freaking amazing. Just trust me on this one. 10 out of 10. Probably, this is premature, but probably the best street food here in Florence. You know, seriously, the more I'm eating this, the more and more I'm loving it. Wow, the flavor is just incredible. It's impeccable. The sandwich is just perfect. And I think that the tomatoes were a freaking amazing addition. Don't skip out on the tomatoes. Ask them for the fresh tomatoes and add it into the sandwich because it's incredible. At all times of the day, as you can see, it is super busy and so hectic here. But hey, I do this for you guys. So please give this video a like and a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you find any of this useful. So now we are on our way to Trattoria Zaza, which is uh, one of the most popular and famous places here in all of Florence. And this is one of my wife's favorite, if not her most favorite place in all of Florence. So let's go check it out. the bolognese pasta which is uh, one of the more popular ones here in Tuscany that I've always wanted to try and I just swapped the pasta out fettuccine for pappardelle it looks incredible shall we take a bite mm. Mm. Wow so simple yet so delicious oh my god this is it wow love this place honey wow sauce is so good oh my god you know so homey so comforting and so hearty i love it the beef is so good cheese is so good and their pasta is perfectly al dente it's delicious this is seriously simplicity at its best Oh my god. And we also got the spaghetti bongole, which is with clams. Wow, look at this. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Yes! So flavorful. The oil is perfect. Tomatoes are delicious. And the clams, oh, wow. I have like no words. This place is amazing. Damn, we killed all the clams. <laughs> oh man, that was so freaking delicious, right honey? Yes, it was my favorite restaurant back in college and the spaghetti alla vongole was my number one dish that I always get here. Whew. My god, I think this is actually one of my favorite meals in all of Italy so far. In all of really? Italy, yeah. It was that good. It's freaking amazing. I but which good. is kind of saying a lot because we tried so many good places so far in Rome and here in Florence already. But my god, you can't get simpler, you can't get any better than that. Anyway, definitely one of the places to check out here in Florence. Let's get it. So back again here at Zaza's. Easily becoming one of my favorites here in Florence. Starting off with some bruschetta. Ooh, looks beautiful. Tomatoes look so fresh, right? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. So good. Now for some truffle fries. Boom. I heard it's a must here, so we got truffle fries. It's like extra crispy fries with some truffle, I guess, paste or cream on top of there. Oh, shoot. Sudden burst of flavor right there. <laughs> wash it down with this Negroni. Not for the weak hearted. So I got the peachy with the, the red sausage meat sauce. This is what the waiter recommended. 
probably one of their more traditional Tuscan dishes. It looks incredible, smells incredible. Let's dig in. Mm. Oh my god. It is so good. So rich and flavorful. Oh my god. The, the sausage is amazing. They use pork sausage, probably a tomato sauce. Oh my god, this is delicious. I freaking love this place. <laughs> Next up, their tortellini with cream and prosciutto. I already freaking tasted it before. It's so damn good. Holy crap. Wipe it with that sauce. Oh my god. With truffle on top as well. Get out of here. Wow, smells incredible. Mm. Everything here is good, man. 10 out of 10 from me. I love Zaza. Seriously. Trattoria Zaza's. So we are headed to La Caraya again. Um, just like last night. I loved it so much. And we're going to the original location that my wife has been to several times before last time she was here. So let's go try it. I got my classic rich dark chocolate and the mixed berry. So freaking delicious. Mixed berry. Mm. And the dark chocolate. Oh, freaking A. That dark chocolate, man. So rich and luscious and thick. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> Mercato Centrale di Firenze, Central Market here in Florence. Now, if you're a foodie like me, you cannot miss this historic food market in Florence. Over 45,000 four plus reviews on Google? Sheesh. You can head upstairs to the food court where you can grab a nice cup of coffee to start your day, or if it's lunchtime, maybe come back and grab a quick bite to eat. They have a wide variety of shops that serve all different types of food ranging from pastas to pizzas to panini and you name it. And then if you head downstairs to the first floor, you'll find a bunch of shops that showcase some of Tuscany's finest products. From farm fresh produce to cured meats, fresh seafood, fresh meats and luxurious cheeses. Just make sure you come earlier because they're only open till 2 p.m. And in one of these shops, they let you sample some of the finest truffle oils and aged balsamic vinegars, which make for pretty damn awesome souvenirs. We actually made some new friends here, which was pretty cool. Definitely check them out when you're here. For you guys! Are you excited? Very. The moment I've been waiting for. A must try here in Florence, Lampredotto. Which is basically stomach intestines of a cow. What? And it's slow cooked in a vegetable broth. And they put it inside a sandwich with whatever spices and sauces that you want. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Woo! Shall we take a bite? Mm. Oh yeah. It's got this really nice, rich, a little bit delicate, yet flavorful texture. It is a little bit chewy. Kind of reminds me of gopchang in Korean cuisine, which is also kind of like intestines. Super rich and flavorful, extremely juicy and tender. And uh, you don't really, it doesn't taste like anything. It really doesn't taste too gamey at all for me. It just tastes like a nice, you know, slow cooked, rothy sandwich. It tastes almost like meat, honestly, just, just beef. Phenomenal. My Lampredotto from the best shop here in Florence. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, yesterday's, I thought yesterday's was good, but this is freaking even better. The bread is awesome. 
the sauce is nice and spicy for me so it's cutting through that rich fat flavor and the meat oh my god like I said before it doesn't taste gamey at all it's a testament to how long they slow cook it that amazing fat and juicy flavor just got reabsorbed back into this meat oh it's incredible well worth it if you're looking for the best Lampredotto in town this is it Nerbone since 1872 it looks like classic Florentine sandwich a must try here in Florence so we are now headed to Ristorante Buca Mario for my first Florentine steak experience let's go check it out homemade tagliarini with butter and truffle sauce actually fresh truffle on top it looks incredible everything here is homemade and as recommended by our waiter we got the, the potato gnocchetti with their Tuscan meat sauce it looks incredible let's dig in bon appetito mm. Mm. like soft pillows in my mouth Mmm, you see that? Wow. Now let me try the truffle pasta. This looks really good. Oh. Cheers. Mm. Wow, this one is so nice. So packed with flavor. And that fresh truffle on top is so good. I had some pretty high expectations on this place. And seriously, it's delivering on all cylinders. Damn. Mm. One of my favorite things to do here, take the bread and just scoop up that sauce right there. That meat sauce. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's massive. <laughs> Wow, this looks incredible. Let me just show you the piece. Look at that. Oh my god. Shall we take a bite? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. So tender. So juicy. Well seasoned. Oh my god, the crust is good. It's so perfect. Wow. You know, I don't usually uh, order my steaks rare, but I guess this is the way to do it here in Florence. And my God, it's delicious. Jeez, it just like melts in your mouth. The taste is phenomenal. Look at the fat cap. No fat, no flavor. Mm. It's a good thing we got the steak for one. Honestly, it's massive. You could definitely share a uh, steak for one with two pastas. Uh, between two people. All right, we just got out from eating that beautiful steak. Honey, how was it? Very, very nice. Very good. Very good. Seriously, top-notch restaurant here in Florence. You have to check it out. It's a must-try here. Florentine steak. See you in the next one. pizza uh, which looked like one of the best pizzas here in town and I got the pesto with a big fat burrata in the middle it looks freaking gorgeous 
Look at that. Wow. Shall we take a bite? Oh my god, I'm salivating. <laughs> the camera eats first, right? Ooh. Damn, she looks beautiful, right? Sexy. Alright, cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. If you haven't noticed already, pizza is one of my love languages. For real. <laughs> so by comparison, comparing this to uh, Napoli pizza, like Gino e Toto and um, L'Antica da Michele, definitely the dough here is a little thicker. It's not as chewy, but it's well seasoned. I feel like it's more seasoned here than it was at Sorbillo. But it's freaking delicious. Oh my god. My god, it's so flavorful. And so far, I only tried their pesto. Man, the pesto is so good here. I don't know what it is. And that burrata cheese, man. Alright. Time to try the tartufo, which means truffle. I'm already really excited about this one. It smells incredible. Wow. I guess they use the uh, truffle paste on here. They just drizzle some of that, spread it on the pizza. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Oh, I'm in love. I guess I fall in love really easily. Mmm. <laughs> it's beautiful. Very well balanced. Very super, super flavorful. I can't speak enough about this place. It's no wonder they have hundreds of good reviews here. So if you're ever around this area in Santo Spirito, uh, definitely get yourself here. Seriously, top-notch pizza. Gusta pizza. I'm stepping away. place called Panini Toscani which is basically a street food right here in front of the Domo it looks pretty damn nice it's really small and crowded inside you basically pick your own bread in the beginning you can taste the, the different types of meats and the the cheeses um, we got the aged pecorino and the focaccia bread um, as well as the Toscani salami it looks pretty good Shall we take a bite? Oh yeah. The bread is really nice. But what really stands out are the tomatoes. Super fresh here. You also get to choose three veggies. So I got the arugula, which is nice and peppery. The fresh tomatoes and the um, grilled peppers, which you really can't see in here. But it's really good. I'd say one is enough. This is one sandwich. Sorry, this is one half a sandwich. I asked them to split it in half. This place is incredible. Very comparable to Antico Vinayo in my opinion. If you want to avoid the lines there, definitely check this place out. It's right in front of the Duomo. You get a nice view, good vibes, good food. Woo! I am stuffed. Carb, seriously, overload. <laughs> Man, Florence is the best city in Italy. My God, I really love Florence. I wish I could live here. Honestly, the best food, the best people, service, art, stunning views, everything. My God, you have to come visit here if you haven't had a chance yet. Um, I just, I can't speak enough about this place. But thank you guys, once again. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you found any of this useful or entertaining, please make sure to check out my other uh, food tours and my other vlogs up on my channel. You can check this video right here or this video right there. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao. Standing in a dreary dream, no one else can see.